If you want your hair to look like you just walked out of a salon, you could do that if you come to a place like the Blowout Company. They can do a terrific blowout for you and teach you how to do it as well. We're going to get some lessons in styling from Deidre de Police. She is one of the master stylists here. And I guess it all starts first with the products, right? Yes. Um, what we're going to do first when your hair is soaking wet is probably one of the most important things. If you only use one product, um, you're going to want to prime your hair with um, some kind of heat protectant um, or a leave-in conditioner. Protecting it from the heat is going to be the most important thing that you can do. Okay, what other kinds of products do you like? So after you go ahead and get some of the wetness out of your hair, you're not going to want to put a brush in it until it's about 70% dry. Um, and once you get it dry, then you're gonna, that will open up the hair cuticle, and that's when we're going to want to go ahead and put our prep product in. Um, and that would be anything like a mousse, um, a volume spray, and that'll really take to the hair once you've gotten some of that wetness out. So I can see I've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> I'm okay, learning. You're learning. Already. Okay. All right. Let's talk about drying. You've already started working on Grace Ann's hair, but yes. what you did to begin was clip her hair up in different sections. Why is yes. that so important? Yes. Yes. You're going to want to use probably about four clips, and this is going to be the most efficient. It seems like it's going to take more time because you have to section it off, but this is going to help you concentrate on one section at a time, and then each section will be blown out the best it can be. Um, so I used four clips and just kind of did some horseshoe sections um, around the head and started down at the nape. Okay. All right, and are you ready to get the dryer again? You started on the bottom rather than on the top, which a lot of people do. Why do you do that? Correct. Um, if we start on the top, then it, as it goes down, then you're not going to be able to concentrate as much on each piece because the hair will be falling on top of it. So we're going to start at the nape, work our way up, and then we're going to spend the most time on the crown, which is where we're going to want to get the most volume. All right, and what's the technique with the blow dryer and the brush? Uh, well, it's going to be hard to do it yourself, but if you can't get in to see us and you have to do it yourself, the most important thing to remember is to lift up at the root, and that's going to help you get the volume. And then as far as the end, you want to go over it a few times to make sure it gets really nice and smooth. How many times do you do that on each section? I'd say about five, but you, could, but you work fast. So I'm going to work up at the root and get that dry first and then come down through the ends and really, really smoothing it out. Okay, take a look at the transformation of Grace Ann. Absolutely beautiful. That shows you what a real professional blowout can do. So what's the finishing step here? So the third product that we're going to want to use is a finished product. It can just be any kind of oil serum just to kind of polish it off, um, even if it was an anti-frizz cream. So I'm going to go ahead and work this first in her ends and just you can see the shine that it adds really polishes it. How do you not overdo a product like that and not have it be greasy? You really just need one pump, honestly. Okay. One pump, start at the ends, and if you need a little bit more, you can, but start with one pump. Okay. How do you keep a blowout like this looking good for several days? Because it's not just a one-day thing. Right. We definitely always want our clients, to, their blowout, to last a few days. Um, I always recommend the way you sleep is extremely important. Um, I always tell everyone, loosely tie your hair up on top of your head um, and secure it with either a fabric hair tie or just a little plastic clip and if you sleep like that you take it out in the morning and you still have all the body okay. um, and the curl. Good. Now this is not just for people who have long fabulous hair like Grace Ann's and like right. yours. Yeah. I mean you do blowouts for um, all lengths of hair and all, all styles of hair. All lengths, all styles, all ages really. Mm -hmm. um, even if you have shorter hair sometimes we can kind of give you a fun new way to try to, to style it um, mm -hmm. and it, it's really fun. I'll, I'll, all lengths. All right. If you want to find out more about the Blowout Company, you've got a location here in Brentwood in the Target Shopping Center. You're at White Bridge Road, and a new one is opening next week, right? Yes, in the Gulch. We're going to be in the bottom of the Terrazzo building. Um, it opens next Monday, um, the 24th, and then we have a big grand opening party on the 27th. So That sounds fun. Okay, you can find out more about the Blowout Company online, too. We'll put a link to their website on our website at newschannel5.com. You look fabulous. You Thank like it? You. I love it. Feels great. I'll be good for about six days. Oh, man, you're lucky. <laughs> that sounds great. Deidre, thanks so much.